G'day. Today I'm going to uh, show you guys how to convert a Google Earth track or route into something that's readable by Aussie Explorer or uh, your HEMA Navigator which uses Aussie Explorer software. Uh, it's a pretty easy process and um, can be really really handy. So if you have a look at uh, the screen that I've got here now We've got an old mine over here, and we've got a road over to the left. Now, on your HEMA navigator, which is the same area here, okay, there's the mine there, and there's the track there. You'll notice that there's no track going to the mine. So what we want to do is we want to use Google Earth now to create a track, and then we want to convert it so we can put it on our HEMA navigator, or our Aussie Explorer uh, software tool. So, first thing we need to do is we'll go to the create a uh, route or new path section in Google Earth. And from here, we now need to zoom in and find a track to it. And you can see there's quite a, a fairly good track going into it there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create that path. From here, the main road, all the way to the mine. I'm just going to click it, do it nice and quick. The good thing about Google Earth is some areas have really good high resolution. Now this this particular area has got some really good resolution, so it's quite easy to see the tracks. And I've used Google Earth many times to find tracks into seemingly inaccessible areas and simply by using the tracks on Google Earth you can actually find a path into an area now up until recent times I've um, manually put that information onto my handheld GPS's but in recent uh, months I purchased a HEMA navigator and I'll tell you what it is awesome because I can now Put that information straight onto my HEMA navigator and I don't have to stop to turn my GPS on, wait for satellites because it's all up and running and it's good to go. And I literally just watch my HEMA navigator to where I want to go. And there we are. So I've now created a path to the mine. So I'll call that track to mine and I'll make it so it's a bit easier to see so it, well it's in yellow that's pretty easy to see and it's a fairly fairly wide track so I'll click OK and there it is there now what I want to be able to do is we'll flick back over here there's the old mine right there there's the track I want to be able to put that information on my Aussie Explorer interface in my particular case HEMA Navigator so, how do I do that? I go back to Google Earth and I find where I've just uh, created that in the left hand um, bar and it says track to mine. So, I right click that and I now save that as, and this is important, I've got to save it as a KML, not a KMZ. Save it as a KML, so yep, track to mine KML, put it somewhere where it's easy to get to and that'll be on the desktop. And I go save and I'll replace one that I already had on there. So, I've now saved that. That's step one. Step two, is I now go to this little program here called GPS Babel. Now this is freeware, completely free, and basically what this little tool does is it converts any GPS slash navigation file format into any GPS slash navigation file so it's really really handy and so first you got to do is you got to find the file that you want to convert and this particular in instance it's a Google Earth file so up the top you'll see where it says format in your drop down box you'll see every type of GPS format out there so you've got your Garmin you've got um, your Magellan Okay, but we're looking for Google Earth, so 
which is what it was on already so we scroll down to G okay we're looking for Google Earth keyhole markup language so basic Google Earth language so we click that and there it is in the top um, bar there now okay so the file we're looking for is let's now find it it's on the desktop and track to mine KML and open so now what I want to do is I now need to basically create a, an output file now the output I want is from a HN7 on Hema Navigator which is an Aussie Explorer um, format okay once again drop down box and I can convert that uh, Google Earth file into any one of these myriad of different GPS navigation type files but what I want is Aussie Explorer so scroll down to O and there it is Aussie Explorer from there to make it nice and easy is and I do this because it's easier is I just uh, need to browse and create the uh, file that I want it to be and this particular is I just click track to mine okay and in the end and this is where the program okay um, basically uh, you need to have a little bit of prior knowledge as to file extensions etc etc okay this is the program doesn't automatically uh, create the file extension for the different um, format that you need so for Aussie Explorer a track is a PLT file so you just highlight KML and replace it with PLT now that's just told GPS Babel to convert it to an Aussie Explorer format so I go save okay I already had one there so yes I'm going to replace it now the bottom I go down and I click OK and you're watching the little window down the bottom you'll see it says translation successful okay and that's now telling me that that file has just now been created so let's go find it and that will be step three now I'm going to load that track on my HEMA navigator software which is, is my PC um, version I basically go load load a track from a file okay and I've already created the file look for the one I want which is track to mine PLT there it is go open and check this out and there it is it's just popped up so if I flash back now to Google Earth it bears a remarkable resemblance that is because it is exactly the same information um, GPS wise and location wise as Google Earth all I've done now is I've just converted it to uh, work with Aussie Explorer in the next video I will show you how to put that onto your actual HEMA navigator thanks for watching